back. So let's do a little bit of some cleanup here. So the first thing we want uh, to do is when I send a message here, it should automatically scroll down to the very bottom here. Okay, so to do that, let's use some um, JavaScript. Okay, before we do that, let's uh, change the date because here, as you can see, the date is the same here, but we can get the date from the data itself. So let me come here. This is api.php and then message right. I'll come down here. I'm supposed to give out the message. So I'm going to just going to concatenate like this, put two dots there so that I can put the function date. So date to create a date like this. And I'm going to get it from the data like so data date okay so actually let me see how the date is going to look like so let me do that so let's come back here and let me do some testing so i'll say testing send so now you see there's actual dates there but this is not very human readable. The time maybe, but this part not so much. So I'm going to convert it to something more human readable. So just say I'll put, I'll give it a format here. I'm going to say capital J, no, actually small j, then capital S. So this one is where you put a number like let's say 27th or 10th or 3rd of March and then capital M for the short version like Jan, Feb, Ma and then the year of course capital Y and then I can add some time as well H capital H for our IS something like that. So this is how you write a human readable format. But this part actually is a, yeah, this is the wrong format to give this. So I'm going to convert it to time and just say string to time like so, because it's supposed to get a Unix, is it a Unix timestamp? I think so. Okay, so let's do more testing, more testing, send. So that's much better. You see 29th December 2020 and then the time. So if you want to know whether it's AM or PM at the end here, just put an A and it's going to add AM or PM. Just so PM. So it becomes very, very long, but uh, if you need the data, no problem. And then the time here is not showing very well. So I need to change this. Uh, for the styles here in the index.php page here for the right hand side message right and message right div no actually what's happening is uh, it's right here in API oh there we go so there's the color so no need to struggle uh, on the other side. So instead here, I'll put a very specific color, maybe something close to black, maybe 888. So not too black, but just somewhere there. Hey, again, ah, so that we can see something. So there we go. One message, two message, and so on. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Now we need to make it so that when I type and enter something like I said it scrolls down to the bottom here so we just need to grab this item that is that is scrolling here and we can do that if I go to send message what is it called it's called message holder so I will come down to uh, where do I do this from let me close the database class it's an index.php. So right here where we're sending the message from, there's a function that is sending the message. Where is this send message? Actually, we should scroll when we receive the message. 
So let me come here on charts right here. So after we've updated the message, then we can scroll down. So I'm going to capture this item variable that is equal to get element by ID. And then say messages holder dot scroll to. So it should scroll to somewhere the maximum possible place. So I'll put a zero there and I'll put message holder dot uh, scroll height, I think. So let's test that and see if it's actually working. Refresh, go. Hey, oh, it's working. How are you? So where is this message? Another testing message. Yo, yo. So where are the messages, messages going anyway? Let me browse in here and see what I have. Okay, wrong table. Mm -hmm. So yo, yo, so the messages are, oh, the thing is, um, it's getting only 10 messages. Right, right, right. So let me come here and let's see what's going on when we read messages. I told it to limit 10, but I should have also told it to order by ID descending so that uh, it gets the latest ones first. Mm -hmm. So let's see if that's an actual thing. I'll type new new. Okay, so where is my message? So this is the problem again. New new is at the top here instead of going at the bottom there. So what I need to do is to get all the latest ones down here. So I should need to swap this. So luckily swapping isn't such a big deal. We can use this sort, reverse sort. Uh, oh no, actually there's array reverse. So right here where we get the array result. If I come here, I can just say result two is equal to array. I think there's one called array reverse if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. Awesome. What I don't know is what it returns, whether it returns a true or false, or it actually returns the array. So that's yet to be seen. So let's test it. Uh, I'll just type latest. Oh, so you see latest is down here. Very good. So if I don't limit these, I want to see whether the other messages will be. Latest, latest. Boom. So it's all good. It's working very well very nice and it's scrolling down now sometimes if you find it not scrolling down for you uh, let me go back to the index page here if you find that this is not working out uh, sometimes you just need to add a timeout so we're going to do set timeout like this so just put a capital letter here so set timeout, what set timeout does is it pauses for a second and then executes uh, the, actually this works all the time. What we need, oh yeah, even this is refreshed. So everything is good here. I don't need to do this. I wanted to be able to remove 
the text that is that was in here but since this whole thing is refreshed even the text is refreshed so this part isn't worth it but in case it doesn't work you do a set timeout and then you're going to put a function like this like so open close bracket and then put comma just put a zero wait time like this and then inside here that's where you put your your code like so so that it waits for a short time and then it scrolls down so sometimes that sorts out the problem so let me just make sure that i haven't broken anything here yo no everything works fine so it still works even there now what i want is for when i click the enter key it's supposed to send the message as well so to do that let me go to send message right on the message text itself i want to add an on click listener so i'm going to listen for a key press and then when i hear the right one i send the message so here we're going to say on so this is on the input box on key uh not key press but key down no actually on key up that's much better when we release the key so on key up equals we're going to create a function for this um, send we're going to call it send or we're just going to say enter pressed like that event so these are just functions you can name them anything you want so on key up enter pressed there we go so i'll copy that function name and come to index.php go down here in the neighborhood of functions so i'll put it there i'm just going to say function function enter key rests so so the idea is every time i'm typing here this function is going to be called so however let me just confirm that so i'm going to say alert now I want it to tell me what key I have pressed. So I'm going to say event dot key code capital C there. So let's see what key code was pressed. That way we can tell which one is the enter key. So I am not seeing anything here so it seems it's not working so let's go to the console to see any errors and we are not getting any errors all right so i forgot one thing here which is that uh, there are two versions of this thing which is what i was avoiding when i did this i sent this there so i should do the same thing for this part as well all right so there's two versions of this there's one in send message and the other there's another one in chats here which is this one so when i change something here i have to change also in the other one so to avoid this let me do exactly let me cut this exactly what i did for these other guys so i'm just going to say function I'll duplicate this in api.php so I'm just going to paste this data here like so mm -hmm. so this one is message controls let me just say message controls like that actually don't need any data here do I no i do not so i'll leave it empty like that so message controls so let me come back here to send message and just uh, concatenate the message controls like so mm -hmm. 
so this would be much better because now i can do the same thing here in chats like this Ooh, let me just paste the whole thing there okay great that way i can go to api.php to change something here and then it will respond on the other side so i've added the on key up enter pressed with an event so let's go to the index.php here enter pressed is here and we want to see the key code so no wonder i wasn't seeing any errors there there was none so if i type something now i'm going to see, so you see these numbers here there's number 885 that determines the key that i've pressed so the enter key is number 13 so that's what we'll be looking for so i just put an if statement here and say if event.keycode is equal to 13 then we know it's the enter key but let me just wait a minute let me confirm that even the other key, enter key because sometimes there are two of them okay so both of them are number 13 sometimes they could be different and then I will do this. I don't know what I just did there. Okay, that's better. So if the key code is 13, it means enter key has been pressed. So what I will do is send message. So I'll just call this function send message uh, right here. Boom. So I'll just use the event. Uh, let me just cut it to E here for simplicity. Okay. So now if I type something, um, let me refresh this actually. And then press enter. It actually loads the messages there. And once it does that, it should also... Uh, where is this message? Where is send message here? Yeah. Message text, this one. So this uh, is the, the text box. So I want to get the text box. I'm copying from send message here. I want to go here uh, where we're receiving the message here after the timeout. And then underneath there, I'm going to uh get grab message text and then i'm going to tell it to set it in focus so that i can start typing immediately again so I'll say dot focus i think it's like this if i'm not mistaken okay so that we focus it back on this thing so let me try that if it's working hey hello Okay, so I can start typing again without touching my mouse. Awesome. So things are working very well. Why isn't this working? Oh, so let me go to API. To okay, so the label. Ah, so API.php. So the ID changed here and I didn't change it on the other one. So so for message file so change that in message controls so that we can this this will be clickable let's try that okay there we go okay so so far so good the only thing we need now is to be able to read the messages immediately we click on a contact uh, it should show us all the messages that we've sent to that person previously and there we go like here Okay, so I'll do, we'll do that in the next video.